Okay, this is Brent from Path and Tarot, and this is the Path and Tarot Suite reading, where we read with all three of the cards to demonstrate how you would uh, navigate uh, a reading with more than one deck. Uh, we've got a playing card deck that uh, is part of it, a elemental deck, which is the five Western elements, made into a uh, interesting. Uh, I don't know what to call it. It's just a it's, it's a separate deck. The elemental deck is a thing of itself. And uh, the tarot deck, the Path and Tarot deck. So these uh, are all meant to be read together. They can be read individually. Uh, they work very, very well. But when they all come together, it creates this really high definition reading. Um, th there's a lot of interesting um, unity that happens through the decks and they share all the same symbols and all the same colors. So it's, it's a really interesting experience when you see these cards all together and you re read them at the same time. Uh, so we'll, let's do that. Uh, we're going to do a reading here for you. So if you see this, wherever you see this, you can take a moment to think, hey, what, like, what do I want to know? Uh, you don't have to even think about anything. You can just have this opportunity, this moment to just tap your intuition, tap it on the shoulder uh, and just say, hey, what's up, intuition? Um, tell me something because uh, sometimes you don't know what you don't know you don't know what to ask and that's okay you just you can let the cards come out and see what they have for you and really in the end it's telling you something that you weren't really paying attention to anyways so it's just like a, a heads up and then this also shows you how to navigate these three decks uh, you can use this as a lesson um, a learning opportunity so that if you do acquire these decks which you can you can get them on make playing cards you'll know how to use them together because it's a it's a different way of reading uh, you really have to focus on kind of symbols and matching things so it's more like a, a game of matching uh, that's fun I like that it's uh, almost like a solitaire type of a pattern recognition thing uh, so why don't we just like grab grab some cards here and uh, get them get them organized let's do that so let's use this um, star pattern here to build up a reading so there you go there's the tarot card there is ooh, what's going on here so we've got the seven of swords we've got a fire element but we've got like the cavalier of diamonds which is like an earth energy the cavalier of diamonds uh, it, it's uh, there's a responsibility about it like a young responsible determined trustworthy person somewhat of youth but uh, not necessarily so maybe of like just beyond youth but not quite too old volatility seven of swords so you know like the the energy is kind of uncertain it doesn't really know where to go yet but it's weird because you've got the element of fire there's a lot of like conflicting things happening here because like fire and earth doesn't really work but fire and air works well they are like they match so they kind of empower each other so it's almost as if like this like the the burning sense of vitality this like longing to transform is creating this like volatility uh, at the moment so things are kind of like just uncertain um, you know it's it's hard to plan for uh, st stability when like waves are coming in and hitting you right um, so that that's tough you kind of just have to wait until that th those waves go down and then you know once that happens you can um, take responsibility and then use that determination to push forward or you can take that backwards in time and use that determination to get through the volatility and just kind of power through it just put your head down and just kind of like just ride it out and then uh, you, you know you'll you'll end up in a um, a more clear posi uh, position and then you'll be able to carry that fire vitality forward and use it and that will be your path and tarot suite reading for now i'll see you in the next one